So you heard great things about Canada. You heard that Canada is an amazing place to live. You heard that it's beautiful. You heard that it's a place that you can make money. You heard a lot of things about Canada that is just so amazing. But recently, what you've been seeing is that many people have been talking about leaving Canada. Many people have been saying Canada is not the same place and you are wondering should I pursue immigrating to Canada? So today I will be telling you six different reasons why you should not come to Canada. Now the first reason why you should not come to Canada is if you want to live in a big city. The thing with big cities in Canada currently is that the rent is extremely expensive. What that means is if you travel to Canada right now and you go to a location where the rent is expensive, you're going to feel as though your entire income is going into your rent. This is why it's not worth it to come to Canada for that reason because quite frankly if you come you're going to have to pay like a two thousand a two thousand five hundred dollar rent a three thousand dollar rent for a little one bedroom and your income is like two thousand dollars which brings me to my second reason my second reason why you should not come to Canada is if you want to come to Canada and just start from wherever you were back in your home country the thing is that canada is set up in such a way where as an immigrant you coming to canada what happens is that it is very difficult to get the job that you previously had in your home country this is because canada has rules around their work experience they tend to choose people who has canadian work experience now this is not applicable to every single company in canada but it does apply to many of the companies in canada where they are looking for canadian work experience now if you come to canada and you do not have any canadian experience which you won't have because it's the first time you're coming to canada if you're immigrating to canada you won't have any work experience when you're here you have to start from zero starting from zero means that you come here and you have to get an entry-level job now if you were a supervisor in your home country when you come to Canada you will not be a supervisor if you were a manager in your home country when you come to Canada you more than likely have to start from scratch where you are in an entry-level job if you are not willing to start from zero it is not worth it to come to Canada that is because coming to Canada there's a high possibility that you will need to start from zero which is insane to me but that's just how it is here the third reason not to come to Canada is if you want to get rich quick now first of all something that you need to understand is that coming to canada will not make you rich whatever you do in canada to get rich is the same thing you can do in your home country however something that i have to mention is that when you come to canada something you have to know is that yes let's say for example in your home country you weren't ever able to save some money if you say i am going to a different area in canada an area that has jobs an area that does not have an extremely expensive rent if you go to an area like that you do very good you can save some money and you can even build a business you can do things like that however if you want to go to the big city and your all your money is done and you only break even at the end of the month then you're not saving anything and you can't do anything you can't invest your money you can't decide to start a business but you have to do something else if you actually want to have money in canada if you just want to work into a job a nine to five job in canada you will actually always live paycheck to paycheck this is because that income is just not enough now this is something that is insane because it just seems as something that nobody talks about but honestly i have been in canada for five years and what i've realized is that if i stay into a job and that is all i do 
I will always live paycheck to paycheck. I will always be grinding because when you look into it, when they subtract that taxes out of your income, it's like you don't have anything else left. Now, that is one of the big things that I've learned in Canada and something that has really hit me personally with my income where I'm calculating the income written on the letter and then I'm being hit with a 30% tax and then i'm like then this income is not worth it like i'm here thinking i'm going to make a lot of money and then after i get taxed and it's like but this isn't enough like it's better i just work a minimum wage job and get minimum wage and don't pay any taxes that would make more sense so things like that changes the old dynamics of can you have money in canada I'm not even saying get rich. I'm saying just have some money. Immigrants in Canada are struggling. That is a real thing. And if you are located inside of Canada, definitely let me know if you believe that you can actually get rich in Canada. Let me know. And you can also let me know what do you do to get rich in Canada? What type of job do you do? You can share it in the comment section. Share for anybody else that is thinking. Or if you just believe there's no way you can get rich, then also share that. Let us all know. Let's share our knowledge. No, I'm not telling you that every immigrant moved to Canada and are struggling. There are immigrants that are, are successful. To be honest, that really depends on what type of job both persons are doing. So let's say a family, you have a husband, wife, kids. It's easier to manage with like a really good job that both persons are working two great jobs. But if you just have one person, you have one individual, one parent with children, things get difficult because it's one income. One income is very, very difficult in Canada. If you're just making one income, it is hard. If you are even two people and you are making minimum wage, it's difficult. If you want to live like a good life, like I'm not talking about being able to afford food and, and, and the thing is like, if that is you, like you are literally an immigrant and you're like, hey, I just want to be able to afford food. I just want to be able to be able to buy clothes. I just want these basic things. Then you can manage to come to Canada and feel successful from those things. But the thing is, if you want more than that out of life, you want more than just being able to buy some clothes and be able to buy some food. If you want more than that, that is when things becomes more difficult because it is not as easy. The next reason why you should not come to Canada is if you have a low self-esteem. Honestly, racism is a real thing. Anybody that tells you that racism isn't a thing in Canada, they weren't in Canada. Or they didn't deal with any one that would give racism. Lucky them. But if you're out there in the world and you're mixing with everybody and especially if you're in an area that is dominated by the opposite race, suddenly it becomes a problem. I am telling you that if I'm talking to any international person, you come from India, China, anywhere else. I've never experienced this in five years of being here. It's one set of group that I've had this issue with. Racism is a real thing. Awkwardly looking at people is a real thing. This is something that I did into a video previously. I'll just link that video here. You can take a look at that video where I went in details about racism in Canada. The next reason why you should not come to Canada is if you are a spender. If you are a spender in Canada, if you are a spender in general, Canada will just not seem as somewhere where you can achieve your goals at all. This is because, again, it links back to income. When you get the taxes, this subtracted, that, I'm telling you that after you subtract taxes, you, all these different fees, you have union fees, this CPP fees, you have EI fees. Like these are so many different things that is being subtracted from your income. I'm telling you with my paycheck, this is what the slip looks like. This is my play. This is my pay slip. And this is one pay slip, a letter size 
a letter size document and it is filled with subtractions like my income is this little part one line up here and then down here is a long list of all the things that they are subtracting from my income i am telling you that taxes makes a big difference in your income huge difference in what you make once you're going up the scale if you're only making minimum wage it's like really nothing honestly but after you go up there it's like why on earth am I even making more money? Like, I'm just being taxed ridiculously. And then the crazy part about it is that you don't get the social benefits when you're making a certain level of income. You're no longer getting the GST. And the thing is, you're getting those on minimum wage salary. You're getting extra help and support. And then once you reach into middle class income, suddenly you realize that social benefits moves from here to zero and then your income moves from first your income is like oh yeah i'm making more money but then when you get taxed the money just goes down again and it's like what's the point and that is something that i've been battling with then why am i doing all of this like why is this worth it like basically they are trying to let me be like I need to go make more money the problem is if I go make more money it's more taxes again like taxes are insane and that is another video where that I've done before where I talk about why immigrants are leaving Canada I directly quoted how much the taxes are in Canada you can see this video right here I will link it there where you can see that video where I spoke about the taxes Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful in some way. Definitely hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel to push out the video. Please just thumbs up the video if you really found it helpful. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.